So the MSc in Public Health program equips students with the skills and the knowledge they need to address public health challenges in any setting. So our program is appropriate for public health in high income countries, in low income countries, and in middle income countries. By the end of the program, students will have the ability to be agents of change to improve public health in whatever work that they go on to do, whether that be research or as a public health practitioner. So to facilitate this, the program offers students the chance to specialize in certain uh, pillars of public health, which is uh, what we call uh, streams. So the students can take the general stream, otherwise they can specialize in one of five streams. They are the environmental health stream, health economics, health promotion, health services management, and we also have a, a research focus stream, which we call health services research. So the MSc Public Health offers a really wide range of module options for students to follow, depending on what their experiences are, or what their interests are, or what they want to get out of the course over the year. So essentially students in their first term have to choose four compulsory modules, which will be basic epidemiology, basic statistics, principles for social research, and issues in public health. You'll then have an opportunity to select two elective modules and these elective modules will be determined by what stream you choose. But don't worry, you don't have to choose your stream before you apply. We'll support you with these choices and you make your stream choice in November. I think the key strength of our programme is the students. We have students from all over the world and very diverse academic backgrounds and work experiences. And the way the modules are taught there's a lot of interaction between the students, and so students will learn as much from each other as they do from their teachers. In your modules, you'll have a mixture of teaching methods. You'll have large traditional lecture style teaching, and you'll also have small seminar groups. Seminars are going to be facilitated by members of staff, and they're there to support you and guide you to apply the skills that you're learning in your modules. We are looking for students who have a range of abilities. So when we are assessing applications, we're considering how much work experience the students have, also their academic background. Because public health is such a broad discipline, we don't have any restrictions on the uh, topic of the, of the applicant's undergraduate degree. We're just looking to see how they performed on that degree. We also consider the motivation of the applicants. So why do they want to do public health and how does that fit into their future career plans. The full entry requirements for our programme are listed on our website. So if applicants are not sure whether they meet in all of our eligibility criteria, then the best thing to do is to contact us. So for example, if they don't have maths training up to A-level standard, then if they contact us, we can re recommend some online statistics courses that they can take, which would then meet our maths criterion. So if you do have any questions about the application process, then do please contact us. Otherwise, do get in your application as early as possible. And uh, we look forward to welcoming you in September.